Hey guys, it's Marcus here from blogprofitnetwork.com and many other sites that I've designed to help you learn how to make money online and advertise your business as well as your affiliate companies. And even if you're just getting started, we have some tips for you as well. And what we're going to do today is we're going to show you how to advertise on Google. Now, you're going to notice that when you go to Google here, and search for a term like let's say you search for um, refinance you're going to notice that there are certain ads along the top here in the yellow and ads down the side here in the white okay these are called sponsored ads and this is where you would want to be if you're looking to learn how to advertise on Google now there's two aspects to advertising on Google number one is the regular search targeted marketing that means that I bid on the word refinance and my ad shows up when people search for refinance now there's lots of ways you can bid there's lots of search terms you can bid for and oftentimes it seems like an overwhelming daunting task but I'm gonna show you how to make it easy alright first and foremost what we want to do is we want to keep track of our AdWords tool and you can find the Google AdWords tool just by searching for AdWords tool or AdWords planner. Okay, it's called the AdWords planner now. And what we want to do is we want to use the AdWords planner to find out what people are searching for. Right, so if we were going for the term refinance, we would go here and we would type in something like refinance right like this okay and we hit get ideas and what it's going to do is show us how many times these words are searched for now it's gonna give you ad group ideas which are kinda of confusing and more along the lines of what Google thinks you should do rather than what you should actually do okay so what we want to do is we want to go to keyword ideas alright instead of ad group ideas because the keyword ideas are more targeted to the actual search phrase that we want right so if we, after refinance most of these results are going to come up with refinance and obviously you could use these things to uh, kind of you know narrow it down if you only want it to say refinance mortgage or mortgage refinance or you only want people in the United States or whatever you can use the keyword options to kind of uh, go through and do that but what we can see here is refinance calculator is actually searched for 22,000 times refinance rates 27,000 times and on and on we go so this is the amount of people each month on average that is searching for these terms now you're gonna notice that a lot of these terms are really high competition and you're also going to notice a suggested bid now the suggested bid is what Google thinks that you should pay based on what other people are paying and the competition of the term for each visitor that comes to your site so if someone was to search for refinance and they click on your ad right they click on your ad and go to your site the suggested bid where did we go there we are is the amount that you'd pay so if we have refinance calculator okay right like this you're gonna notice that the bid is six dollars per click which means on this here you're seeing six dollars and seventy cents which means that on average people are probably paying six dollars and seventy cents or less so the suggested bid is what they're saying here okay now the the cool thing about Google and other pay-per-click marketing methods is you only pay when people click okay so if you're ad is seen a hundred thousand times in a day and no one clicks then you don't pay anything but if one guy clicks then you pay six bucks or a dollar or whatever right now whatever it says here doesn't necessarily mean that's what you're gonna pay so now that we know this stuff I have other tools and keyword research stuff on my site at blogprofitnetwork.com you can go there uh, put your name and email you'll get all that stuff but for right now let me show you how easy it is to get started with Google AdWords first of all all you have to do is search for Google AdWords AdWords in Google okay you're gonna to come to a page like this that says advertise on Google and this is exactly how you start to advertise on Google okay so what we want to do is we want to hit the get started now button okay this is going to allow us to create an account now you'll notice that it says hey you, you already have an account okay but for those of you who don't have an account it's just gonna ask you some basic things like what kind of business are you marketing what's your name what's your email where are you located what's your phone number and everything along those lines right really easy and then after you're done with everything like that you're gonna notice your main account page and you can see I've spent quite a bit of money with the old Google and it's gonna allow you to either search on or put your ad on the search network and display network the search network only 
or the display network only. Now display network is basically the ads by Google on other sites, like sites that are not Google, right? If you're on a site and it says, hey, check it out, ads by Google, then that would be an example of a display network ad. The search means that they actually have to go to Google and search for the keyword for you to come up. Okay, and we'll talk about different targeting stuff and everything like that on a site that I'm setting up for you. And you can find that at payperclickexplained.org. That's payperclickexplained.org. And that site should be ready uh, by the time you're watching this video, right? We'll put a link in the description of this video as well. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all the basics and advanced uh, training tools that I have about pay-per-click marketing so that you could get a feel for the terms and how things work and how to do different targeting and things like that. But what you're going to notice here is that when you get into the nitty-gritty of setting up your campaign, so let's say we just want to do search network only uh, what's going to happen is you'll put in your new campaign name now I select I suggest you name it something related so if this was refinance calculator okay and then we go in and we say search network only you can do that again now you can do standard keywords like regular keyword text ads showing on Google results only or all features if you want to be on all the search networks like I think they serve uh, AOL and different things like that you can be on product listings dynamic search whatever and again we go in all that over at uh, paperclickexplained.org okay but for now we're gonna do, do Google search network since the title of this video is how to advertise on Google right we gotta stay select to how to get advertise on Google and we can get into the other stuff later on paperclickexplained.org alright so we can show ads uh, on all devices now you can go here and you can do like uh, phones or tablets or laptops or laptops and computers or whatever right that's where you choose devices so obviously if you have a big site that won't show on a little phone then you probably don't want to advertise to phone people because you're just gonna pay to make them mad and leave your site okay then you get to choose your locations you can do uh, U.S. and Canada, you, Canada, you can do all territories, you could do just Bangladesh if that's what you want, everything, right? Really easy. Okay, and then it says your languages, your bid strategy, okay? Now, I usually choose all manually set the bids for my clicks, otherwise they're going to choose it for you. And again, there's reasons why you would do both options, and we'll go over that on that pay-per-click site as well, uh, paperclickexplain.org. Okay, so then what we do is we just set our default bid. Now, the cool thing is, is we put whatever we want. So if I'm only willing to bid, um, you know, let's say 35 cents a click, I've got to have number lock on, 35 cents a click, then that is all I pay, right? I'm not going to get any traffic if it's too cheap, and uh, if it's not too cheap, then I'll get traffic, and all I'll pay is 20 or 35 cents per click. And then you put per day. So if I want 100 clicks a day, I could put, yeah, I'm willing to spend 35 bucks a day. All right, then you got your ad extensions. That means you can put uh, different things to uh, put, you know, business ideas or your location if you want. Hey, I'm here in, you know, Los Angeles or whatever, or here's where you could call me, um, whatever, you know, different things like that that show uh, more about your business. We usually don't do stuff like that, but obviously if you're a local uh, marketer, then that's going to work for you. Okay, then we go ahead and hit Save and Continue and we come to this ad group page okay so we set up the regular campaign now we set up the ad group and we'll call this refinance one okay and we put refinance oh, refinance calculator and I think I spelled that right Refi let's just copy it just to make sure because I have been known to do a misspelling or like 5,000. Okay, so refinance calculator. Again, always use your keyword in the uh, target URL. That'll get you more clicks. Okay, and then you just say what you have. Neat, or you could say easy to use calculator will help you calculate your mortgage savings. Alright, display URL. This is where you put what your website looks like. So it'd be like refinancesite.com or whatever. Obviously that's not a site. Okay, and then the destination is where you want to send them. So this is what you want your site to look like in the actual ad. This is where you're actually sending them. This is used in case like you want to put like a tracking ID like question mark TID equals 
one, two, three. Okay, that way it doesn't look ugly, but you could still track it. Now they like this to be as relevant and as similar to your actual site as possible. So keep that in mind when you're creating your ad. Then you go through and you select your keywords, right? Those are the keywords that we found in step one where we're actually going through and using the uh, AdWords tool to find our keywords. Okay, so we put in like refinance calculator right like that and we hit estimate search traffic it'll say hey based on 30 cents a click I don't think you're gonna get any traffic you should probably spend more then you can go and say okay well let's put a dollar and see what happens okay and again remember this is all averages and it's basically just gonna give you averages based on what's going on okay let's say we put three bucks or whatever Okay, and this is where you kind of find your sweet spot where you get the most traffic. But again, you're never really going to know unless you put the ad online and test. Okay, so we put that in there. We'll just stay at our regular 35 cents a click and we'll go ahead and save the ad group. Then bada bing, bada bang, we get our ads. So now we are ready. We're rocking and rolling. We can actually be showing on Google right now. Right? Really cool. And you can see it actually gives you a little score. It says, hey, this is what your site's about. Um, you know, your quality score, your status, uh, how much it costs to be on the first page. So if I want to actually show up on the first page of Google, it's going to cost me 95 cents a click, right? Which for mortgage guys shouldn't be too much if they know what they're doing and that is about it right now we're advertising on Google so I hope you enjoyed this video about how to advertise on Google it's very simple what I have set up for you at my site at paperclickexplained.org is I have a special tutorial video actually several of them and I also have a coupon right I have a special coupon where you can get the first I think it's like 50 or 100 bucks in traffic from Google for free right we also have coupons from MSN and everything like that it is a conditional coupon so I will put that the details and everything on the site but just go to the site to get the tips on pay-per-click marketing so go to paperclickexplained.org check out the other videos and for those of you who want to know all about how to make money online go to blogprofitnetwork.com on all my sites make sure you put your name and email in the box so that I can keep in contact and send you my latest videos for those that like these subscribe opt in subscribe on YouTube follow me make sure you're getting all the latest stuff and for those interested in paperclick go to paperclickexplained.org and I'll see you in the next video